Pink? Red? Pink? Salmon? Ginger Runner. What is up, everybody? Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner, here for another GingerRunner.com review. Not one, but two today. Yes, both from New Balance, both road shoes from New Balance. The review you are currently watching is for the New Balance Vazi Pace. Oh, it is not the only shoe that I'm reviewing today. You can also check out my Fresh Foam Zante review, which surprised me. The link for this review is in the description, so you want to check that out. Or you can stay and watch the review for this one. The Vazi Pace. I'm really excited about this shoe. This whole line of Vazi shoes from New Balance is replacing the 890 series. I never ran in. I never got a chance to review any of those shoes, but I'm glad I got the chance to review this one. It surprised me. It makes me happy. It's reminiscent-ish of the 1400 I reviewed long ago that I loved from New Balance and have yet to review any of the new version, but getting my feet into this, the Vazi Pace, was like a nice welcome hug from a relative you haven't seen in a long time. It's also really similar to the Fresh Foam Zante that I reviewed today as well, but it has some differences that help make it stand out as a quality, mid-distance, more responsive version of that shoe. I'm going to tell you all about the things that I like and dislike about this shoe in today's review. So let's get this thing started. Things that I like about the Vazi Pace. The Revlite midsole. I've missed Revlite. It's such a great material that New Balance has been using in a lot of their shoes. It's responsive. It has a bit of cushioning in it. So you are getting some softness, but that responsiveness mixed with the softness is such a nice feeling. I like myself really liking it for those distances anywhere between 6 to 15 miles. It's a nice sweet spot. Wide toe box. Again, like the Fresh Foam Zante that I also reviewed, the toe box here is stretchy. It's wide. In fact, it's wider than the Fresh Foam Zante, which I really like, so it gives you a little bit more toe splay. And I know with these welded overlays, it kind of harkens back to the original 890, which I think is kind of a cool homage to the shoes that these are replacing. And that wide toe box is a welcome addition. Outsole. Again, a lot like the 1400s that I really, really liked. The outsole is in pieces and flexible. You have these pods of outsole rubber that are high durability rubber. They have plenty of flex grooves already embedded into them, so it's super flexible in all directions. I like this outsole more than the Fresh Foam Zante just because of that separation. I think it's good. And now moving on to things that I dislike. Durability. Like the Zante, I think I'm going to have some issues with durability here. Mainly in the upper, it suffers from the same problems as the Zante in the sense that I'm getting a little bit of wear through in some sections where there's high flexion. The outsole, I do anticipate it lasting a while just because the outsole rubber sections are a little bit thicker. Weight, the shoe is heavier than the Zante. It's 9.3 ounces. It's just a little bit higher than what I would like for a trainer or even a mid-distance shoe. I know that there are going to be other Vazi versions out there, so you'll probably get a lighter one. There's also other shoes out there in the New Balance line that will give you a lighter, more precise fit noise. Now this is the first thing I noticed with the shoe and the first dislike I had to make note of. The outsole, while I like it because it is split and is flexible, poses one major issue. It's noisy when you strike in your mid or forefoot. By having these two flat bars strike the ground at the exact same time, you get a bit of a snap or a pop sound. Sometimes on certain surfaces, it sounds like tap shoes. So just be ready to either toss up some jazz hands or have some people look at you because your shoes are going to be making a little bit of noise. But that's it for dislikes. Again, the Vazi Pace from New Balance is fun, a more responsive version of the Fresh Foam Zante, the replacement to the 890 series. And I was excited I actually got a chance to review the shoe. I think it's a decent runner. Time to get on to the points. Quality, I'm going to give it four out of five. I do think it has some issues with wear and tear. I think it will hold up better than the Zante a little bit. Comfort, I'm going to give it four out of five. I think it's a comfortable shoe. It's nice and fun, responsive. I have dog it so far. Price, I'm going to give it four out of five. I think it's a decent price point at a hundred bucks. I'm sure it'll go on sale soon as well, but in the meantime, I think a hundred dollars is fine price to pay for a shoe like this. Looks, I also think it's a decent looking shoe. Four out of five. I like the bright colors. There's only a couple versions of this shoe out right now. Like it, four out of five. And that brings our total to 16 out of 20. I think it's a really good score for the Vazi Pace, which I surprisingly liked. I didn't know what I would think about this shoe, not having trained in any of the 890s or even reviewed them, but now that I've got into the Vazi Pace, I'm happy with what I got. I think the package is a pretty damn good deal. Speaking of good deals, go check out the review of the Fresh Foam Zante. Surprised me. It really did. Go check out the review. All you have to do is either click the shoe or click the link in the description, but I'll give you a couple seconds to click the shoe. Three, two, one. And that is it for this review. Before I get into the goodbyes, I want to let you guys know that I do have a deal right now with Running Warehouse. I'm getting you guys a discount on select items by using the coupon code in the description of this video. You can go get 10% off some stuff. All sorts of brands, all sorts of apparel, goodies, nutrition, everything there. So there's a link and a coupon code in the description of this video. It's a new thing I'm trying out. Hopefully you guys benefit from it. And that is it for today's review. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, like, favorite, share, and subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash the ginger runner. I'm on all the social networks as well. Over on Twitter, it's at the ginger runner. Facebook, facebook.com slash the ginger runner. On Instagram, it's at Ethan Newberry. And of course, gingerrunner.com. Every Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, right here 
on this YouTube channel, I'm doing live shows where you can tune in and interact with me and my guests. It's a lot of fun. And make sure you visit patreon.com slash the ginger to find out how you can help make this channel continue to happen. Really thank those of you who already are there and I'm giving perks and cool stuff away. There's really exciting things actually happening here very soon. So go check that out as well. That's it for today's review. Hope you guys are getting out there training hard, racing harder, and partying the hardest. I know I am. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.